I'm gonna give you five key tips that you can utilize to improve your mind, muscle connection, and we're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dave Miller from GarageRank.com and if this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you smash that notification bell so we can help you become a beast. Okay, when we're talking about mind-muscle connection, the first thing that we've gotta do is define what the heck is mind-muscle connection and what we have to do is focus on a conscious and deliberate muscular action. So if there is a pattern of movement that we're training, we're gonna be doing a bench press, right? If we are doing a bench press, we have to consciously and deliberately execute that so that we understand when there's an active movement and when there's a passive movement and what muscles we might be turning on and off or at least stressing a little differently throughout the actual exercise. So it's really, really important to understand that that is the definition of mind-muscle connection. And if we can think about it from an athletic perspective, people who are freakishly athletic have absurd levels of coordination. The reason why they have absurd levels of coordination is that they have a great mind-muscle connection. They're the charismatic athlete, okay? They're the athlete that knows how to utilize the right muscle fibers, the right mus muscular groups during the proper action of movement. And so that's a, a really important concept to understand is that athletic individuals tend to have a really high level of mind-muscle connection. So people who might not be as coordinated, if they can develop it as a skill, they may never fully close that mind-muscular connection gap, but they can improve the skill over time so that they in turn become more coordinated themselves and ultimately lead to greater performance in the sporting realm or even in bodybuilding, whatever that exercise or fitness goals are that they end up having. So we've got to define it. We have to understand how we can train it. And then we're now we're going to use these five tips so that we can improve the skill over time. That's going to help you become a better athlete and hopefully pack on some more muscular mass. Okay, so that first key tip is that we wanna focus on actually doing a warm-up. A lot of athletes don't do a warm-up. And guess what? They'll use high-end athletes as examples. They'll use the best athletes in the world. Say, well, they barely do a warm-up, but they're the best athletes in the world. So what we need to do is if we're not as coordinated, if we don't have as good of a mind-muscle connection, we've gotta do that warm-up because we've gotta stimulate our nervous system a little bit more. We've gotta heighten it as much as we can. So what we're doing here is just some easy reverse flies and then tricep extensions. And this might be something that you do for an upper body workout. You do two sets of 20, but you start to feel tension a little bit better. And that's the key concept behind my muscle connection is we want to have a little bit of tension built up into that exercise that we're gonna be focusing on. So we have that mind muscular feeling. Okay, so first key concept, warm up properly when we're trying to improve our mind muscle connection. Okay, the second key tip with a mind-muscle connection is that we wanna focus on specific supplements that are gonna help us with a mind-muscle connection. So if you've seen some of my past videos where I've gone vegan, I've tried a couple different things. Nitric oxide gives you a little bit bigger of a pump, similar to arginine. I think much more potent, especially if you're drinking it from beet kvass, homemade beet kvass. If you have a decent, you know, eight to 10 ounces of it, you will get a stupid pump so much that you'll actually get a little bit of a buzz rolling. So you can utilize different amino acids or you can utilize different supplements. So I like to use nitric oxide if I wanna increase my mind-muscle connection because I get that bigger pump. Or I like using beta alanine, sometimes arginine. If I use beta alanine, it's gonna help me feel a little bit tingly and I'm more aware of what I'm doing. Caffeine is also extremely potent but I would recommend strictly if we're just talking about that mind muscle connection we want to do a little bit of a bodybuilding workout beta alanine about five grams or a little bit more or NO you know nitric oxide taken out of beet kvass you know you get six to ten ounces of beet kvass you're gonna get a huge pump from that nitric oxide so that third key tip that we're gonna utilize with the mind muscle connection and improving it so that you can be a little bit more coordinated is going to be utilizing bands, okay? And we're actually gonna pair this with the fourth tip, which is gonna be pre-fatigue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you, if I sat here and I said, look, I believe to help your mind-muscle connection, you can utilize bands as an actual exercise. So you can do various exercises banded up so that you have a little bit more tension at the top, but you can also utilize bands on a bar 
to give you a little bit better feeling. It's gonna heighten that nervous system to be a little bit more aware of what you're doing. Now, I'm pairing this with pre-fatigue because pre-fatigue is another way to trick your body into waking up for specific motor patterns and sort of training any lagging parts. And usually, if you have a lagging muscle group, it's because you're lacking that connection from a neurological perspective in that group, okay? So think about this, pre-fatigue. If I do some curls and then I go do chin-ups, my biceps are gonna be pre-fatigued. But if I struggle with growing my biceps, it's because I don't have as strong of a neurological connection. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how we pair bands with pre-fatigue as I hit myself in the face. And so we got our Power Elastic bands here available at garagestrength.com or you can pick these up at powerelastics.com. And so I'm gonna stand on this what I'm gonna do is almost like an upright row into a shrug, okay? And I might sit here and I wanna get more tension in my traps, even a little bit in my rhomboids as I squeeze my scap and slightly even into my biceps, okay? So we got the handles on here and we might hit you know, 15, 20. So we're using bands and we're doing a little bit of pre-fatigue because now we're gonna rest about 20 seconds. I'm gonna step into my trap bar and the bands one, they just lit up my nervous system, but two, the pre-fatigue is guiding me towards actually strengthening my traps, rhomboids, and biceps. With the trap bar here, we're gonna do drag curls. <sighs> Try and think about pulling your hands into your armpits. So this is an exercise where you can light your upper traps, just blow them to bits. Here. Oh. 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 And it's also a movement that if you struggle with growing your biceps, now you can utilize your traps to help spark some more growth in the biceps. So we use those bands. That third and fourth key tip behind my muscle connection is utilize bands, utilize pre-fatigue. It's gonna help you be a more coordinated athlete. Okay, so that fifth key aspect behind improving your mind muscle connection is doing a stretch or actually flexing your muscles during your break. So this can almost be like a active rest or passive active rest. Uh, but a good example would be if I'm, if I'm doing flies, right? So I'm, I'm hitting, I'm smashing flies. I'm gonna train my chest. I'm gonna get my pecs to grow. One thing I might do is I might grab here and I wanna like turn just away, try and stretch in my pec, try and stretch a little bit my deltoid here. And I might just get a little bit of a pec flex here. Okay, or I can do a door stretch. I'm gonna flex my pec, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna go and hit those chest flies. So it might be you do a flex or a stretch in a flex for about 30 to 60 seconds, then you rest about 30 seconds, and then you get back in. If I'm doing, you know, let's say I wanna get a better mind-muscle connection in my lats. My lats tend to be a little bit slower twitch. So it can be a little bit more challenging to get that mind-muscle connection because they're slower twitch. They don't coordinate as rapidly, right? So maybe what I wanna do, I could get on here, and if I want to lengthen my, my, my lats and even a little bit of my T-spine, I can focus here. Oh. And try and flex a little bit like PNF. And then try and stretch that out a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to rest. Maybe I rest about 30 to 40 seconds. Then I go in and I smash some pull-ups. But what that stretching and flexing does is that it can stimulate a little bit more muscular growth. It can help coordinate a little bit more because you're actually utilizing that facilitation to recruit a little bit more in, in that muscular group. Okay, so remember, when we're talking about my muscle connection, what we're doing is we're trying to have a deliberate cognitive focus that's gonna create more tension that enables us to feel that greater coordination. Think about world-class athletes. They have tremendous mind muscle connection. That's what makes them so coordinated. So if we are not that world-class athlete, to get to that point, if we wanna get a little bit bigger, we wanna improve our performance, we can utilize all five of these tips, which is going to lead to greater coordination and in turn, greater performance in the gym, which ideally will lead to greater performance out on the field or on the stage, whatever it is that you're doing. So utilize all five of these key tips to enhance your mind-muscle connection. And if you want help with your training, you wanna become a better athlete, you wanna be more explosive, you wanna get a little bit more swole, click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up one of our premier strength training programs. If you want more content behind strength training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys. Peace.